What's up, guys? I am the Mightiest Beard. And I am Northern Beard. And we're bringing you another episode of Beardlefield. Beardlefield is a weekly series where Mightiest Beard and I will do a proper review of a beer or brew of our choice and uh, attempt to play some Battlefield 3 at the same time. So we're going to dump you over to in-game comms right now so you can check out our beer-drinking shenanigans. Cheers. Cling. Hello, William. Hello, Steven. You want to drink a beer? I do. I do. What what delicious beverage do we have for us tonight? Well, today we are looking at uh, what's called the Golden Drock. It is Sounds a, like a uh, World of Warcraft beer. It does sound like a World of Warcraft beer. I'll give you that. Ooh, double kill. This oh. is a beer out of Belgium. It's a Belgian oh, shit. There's a tank inbound. Don't worry, I'll fucking battle res you shit. <laughs> I got you, bruh! Boom! Boom! Nice, <laughs> nice <laughs> chain <laughs> res here. Dan 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 dan. Alright. So, we're looking at the Golden Drog here, which is a Belgian triple. It nice. comes in at a whopping 10.5% ABV. Squad wipe! There's just one guy. Yeah, there's one guy with a locked squad. He's really doing a whole lot. Did you say a 10%er? Ten and a half percent. Look at that. That might be our um, our heaviest. Uh, um, I'm up on I'm up on C platform. Yeah, I got you. Um, that's that's definitely our uh, our strongest yet. What I meant to say when I said heaviest. It might be our heaviest as well. I think the heaviest is probably gonna be that stout we did. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. I just died. I'm at the bottom. There we go. Did you find me? Was that you? Oh yeah, I charged down the fibs and everything out. I was not caring for my life. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> the tank just, or uh, van just blew up. So we should, uh, we should probably pour this sucker. Yeah, we should, should, should maybe try to get on that. I'm gonna crack, go go crack this bottle open. Yeah, I'll go prone and try this while I'm. Uh, oh Jesus! I just ate it. Let me uh, throw one of these suckers down. Ooh, it smells fucking absolutely delicious. I was actually just gonna say that the smell on this. Now I'm getting. I'm getting. I haven't even. I haven't even finished pouring it yet. What do you got? Bit ahead on this one. Yeah, I got a good Salt. finger, finger and a half kind of a tan head. Oh, I, I fucked my pour up all kinds of bad. Really, uh, really nice, like red, like ruby red. Uh, like a hints of amber color to it. Really. Nice looking beer. All right, I'm back up. Where are you at? I got, oh, 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 oh. I got like a solid like almost two inches of head on mine. Not good at all. Uh, you fucked that up. Yeah. Well, the thing is, remember my fridge uh, fried on me today, so my beer was like cold and warm and then cold and then. Well, oh, that kid's mad. It? Oh, oh, highlight real footage right there. I don't know why I just did this. Where are you? I'm over by uh, between uh, A and D. You're like a mile away from me. Yeah. I keep getting, I keep getting text messages. All right. Well, we, we have let me move this beer in front of me so I can get a get a nose on it. Oh man, <laughs> it smells so good. Yeah, this is this is a really fantastic smelling beer. I was a little nervous going into this beer. Like I, the bottle's a little weird. I mean, it's got a dragon on, which I'm cool about, but it just, to be honest, it just kind of looked like a shitty beer. Um, this is a, a classic don't judge a book by its cover or a beer by its bottle. Um, I mean, I guess... I don't know, look, looking at this bottle, it's I a dragon. think it's awesome. I should be a It's got a freaking dragon on it. Yeah, I don't know I what the, your issue is there. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's a dragon on it, so... Oh, I just got shot in the ass. You see where I'm at? Can you get it to me? I'm down the opposite end of the hallway that you're I'm right deep. at. Yeah, I just saw where you were on the, my mini map. I I might have failed miserably looking at my beer. Oh yeah, you, oh actually you're on the other side of me. I must have thought that uh, someone. I'll spawn on you. You smell I'm just, this? I'm just locked. So really, uh, Colonel fruity? Colonel Coot is down. Colonel what? His last, his name's Colonel Coot, and if his year is indicative of his age, he's older than my father. So that's. Interesting. Oh yeah, well. Did you take did you take your swig? No no no, I'm still smelling it. Describing the smell. It's really fruity. I was gonna say that, that's um, that's definitely the fruitiest beer. This thing's knocking all kinds of uh, first place achievements. 
Oh, that tank is like, all Oh, no. See ya. See ya. The tank is rolling up. I got no way to defend against the tank, yeah. so... You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna piece out of there. Is he coming down here? Yeah, he's coming down here. Yeah, Let's you watch can see him. Side. He's on the he's on the mini map right now. Watch the side for troops. Oh 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 oh. Yeah, take him out. Take him out. Got him. There's another one. There's another one. Yeah, oh wow! Nice. He's fucking spas. Ah oh, yeah. I Pros um, right here. He slugged me, no less. Chugged. I got red still. Yeah, I got you. And then I got a double kill. Uh, Panic shot you. Yeah. It's a nice, like, kind Look of, at this like... Engineers. Good, good looking out, buddy. All right. One more. It smells like a little bit of cherry in there. Cherry action? Cherry in the smell. All right. I think I've got enough of this smell. It's really fruity, guys. It's real fruity. Like, there's like, it's like bordering on funky, but not, not in like a, like a bad way. And it's certainly not like a, like funk forward kind of beer, like a, like a wild ale or anything like that. It just happens to have a little bit of that, like Belgian kind of funk to it, but just, just barely. The fruit overpowers it, but you can still, you can still get into the funkiness in the nose. I'm pushing right. up between A and C. We're gonna have to haul ass. Um, I'm gonna come around to I'm take, uh, take my sip a. here. Do like it up. Yes. I'll, I'll do the same. Cheers. Wow. Ooh, that's nice. I'm not sure. Yeah, Inter that's yeah. I'm gonna go with interesting. Yeah, I mean, I like it. It's a good. Uh, I tend to like just I give a lot of leeway to beers that I can tell are brewed really well. There, it's like are made nice. Yeah. Like there's the the process is good and it uses like fresh ingredients and some shit. I, <sighs> Come on. I would I would feel that this this beer is a little um, commercialized for that. Oh, that gets pissed. All right, let me take another sip of this. Let me try to get a, some of these fruits out of here. Yeah, let's try to get a little, little clarification on this flavor here. Well, booze. You can taste the booze in this one. God, it is such a strong ale, yeah. Yeah. Ale. It's not like, it's Here. not bad though, to like, uh, you still, like, it's still really fruit forward, but it's not like a, it's not one of those, like, overpoweringly sweet, like the Sea Dog Blueberry or, or even like a Sam's Cherry Wheat, like. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, cause you can, you can tell with those ones that they're, they're running. The front runner there is like, hey, taste this alcohol with some fruit. Yeah. Yeah, for them it's like it's like we really need to get that fruit in there. This almost tastes like they put their their barley hops and, you know, water and yeast together and they just happen to get out of that mixture a fruity flavor, you know. Yeah. I'm getting all my points by squad revives, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is giving me a a, a damn damn warm feeling right down the uh the old throat here. I mean, it's this is a really, it's <laughs> it's that alcohol content. I mean, it's yeah, it is. But you know, the thing is, like, the al you get the alcohol flavor up front. Get the what the hell? I couldn't even see that guy. You, if you want to res me, that'd be glorious. Sure. But uh, so you get the you get the alcohol flavor up front. I'm gonna take a sip. Yeah, you can like. It's not even on every sip. That one, yeah, I see it like. It's weird. It kind yeah. of <laughs> it was, comes, it comes, and then it goes. Like some sips, I get punched by the fruit, and then some sips, I'm getting punched by the um, the, just the the pure you know alcohol content. Just the booziness of it. Yeah, it's like it's it's delicious, but it is a good beer. Here. Better than I thought yeah. it was gonna be. Yeah, it's the the booze is really it's interesting. interesting. This is the, the, this is, usually you get a boozy beer like uh, like the Storm King. For example, that one. I mean, it's a stout, but it's it's and it's delicious. It's but so smooth. If you if you if you let it warm up a little bit, oh, it's terrible. It, get, it gets it gets boozier, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but it's just not as it's not as good. And the booze flavor, it's it's just booze. With this, like you get the you take the sip, you get the booze flavor, 
and but then the the fruit almost immediately takes over. The fruit and the sweetness almost immediately takes over, and then you're, what you're left with is uh, just the warmth of the booze, and not that you know overly you know phenolic boozy taste. It's just it's just you just have that warmth. It's like a really it'd be it's just like almost a really good like winter beer, just because of how like warming it is in the in the mouth and throat area. Good I, I shoot, Nace. Yeah, I will agree with the uh, the fact that it's a good winter beer based on you know that that warming sensation that it kind of does. I got two. Yeah. Oh man, I'm uh I'm really digging this beer. I will definitely say, I mean, this this does. I mean, it's dark too. It's not a it's not a light beer by any means. It's not a light that, beer. That that plays into the whole winter theme. Um, let me uh let me chat about this mouthfeel a little bit actually. We kind of skipped over that one. Let me take a sip here. Not too, uh, not too thick, but also not light. It's not like a, you're not putting PBR in your mouth here, guys. This is going to be, yeah, you're well, getting that's the, the, that's that whole anti-stout component of it. I, I do feel though, it, it has a hell of a bite. I mean, that, that 10% is nothing to, to front about. I mean that, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> nothing to front about. <laughs> I figured it was a throwback Tuesday yesterday, right? Might as well. Yeah, seriously. Whoa. Wow, that was a nice nade. <laughs> uh, I'm in C stairwell if you're still up. Yeah, I'm over more at Monument Square, also known as D. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm doing bad this round. Um, but yeah, this, uh, it's like kind of creamy, almost. It's like like a, There's like a thickness to it, but because it's like really... I don't want to say heavily carbonated, but it's pretty. It's oh, pretty well this is, carbonated. This is pretty carbonated, dude. My it's pretty dang carbonated it's really, beer. It's pretty damn, pretty damn full right now. We need to. Uh, we need to push some of these. Oh, they're they're bringing their tank their down. Their tank's coming great. down now. Yeah. Yeah. This this definitely has a lot of carbonation to it. Yeah. I'm not typically against per se, but I I don't have a lot of soda. You know, I'm not a soda guy. So yeah, 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 yeah. I have carbonation. It's like. I really feel it. Yeah. And that's probably... I'm going to fault it on that because I don't really care for, for high carbonation in my beer. Which is probably yeah. why I, I typically prefer, like, a stout. I mean, if oh, my, yeah, if my review of the Victory Storm King stout wasn't a dead giveaway, um, <laughs> then, then me admitting it outright will be a dead giveaway. Right. But it is a, uh, it's, it is a nice ale. I will I will say I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah, that being the case, though, well, I mean, I, I think we're just about at the point where we're kind of gonna we're gonna give this an overall. Um, yeah. Where what are you thinking you, overall? Yeah. Where Where are you at with this? Do you think? Oh, it's uh, pretty pretty amazing. I'm I'm gonna say I'm mean, really 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 enjoyable enjoyable beer. Just something that I could I mean I could I could drink this on a regular basis if I wasn't so expensive. Really? So you're, you're really digging it then? I mean, that's, that's yeah, it's, it's just a nice, like, smooth kind of, like, really flavorful, like, beer, like for beer for beer's beer sake, sake beer, you know? I, I'd say it's definitely going to be a nice change of pace from the, um, the stouts that I typically indulge. Um, but, in terms of, like, the, the, you know, the winters, but I mean, I don't I don't know if I'm going to give it as good of a rating. I mean, I, I enjoy it, but I don't think that I'll probably buy it again outside of this review. I'll drink it again if someone buys it for me, but it's pretty expensive to not love. Yeah, that's a good point. Looks like A is getting taken by a tank, by the way, which is another yeah, good point. All right, I got, <laughs> I got C on lock. Just nade crazy over here. Lost to the tree boss. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> Mini boss tree. Yeah, just took a T90 show to the face. Are you, uh, are you, oh God, just worried about revives. What are you, uh, on a scale of uh, one to five, what are you thinking on this guy? I think that, uh, for me personally, just, w oh, what, what's up, uh, what's that, double kill? On a grenade pass? Nice. Recorded it! Um, Jesus. I'm I just jumped out and took a, took a grenade shell in the head. Is that you? Yeah, sweet Rambo revive, bruh. Oh, thanks, man. 
I didn't know a guy rolled in to take your ass out. Um, I think that I'm gonna give this. Just stay there for a second. Yeah. Stop moving. Yeah, that's that's what I said to do. Was, was, was run past that open. Yeah. Was open. open yeah, you said to stay there. And I went for a full out sprint across the street. Yeah. All right. What's your uh? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Is that you down the hall? No, there's, there was like a dude there. I, I peeked and took five rounds in the throat. Oh, I got you. Hang tight. No. That's a fail on my part. Sorry. That's okay. I, threw a, I, got I it. threw a box down in your honor. Um, I, I'm only going to give this, unfortunately, a, um, a, a solid video game developer neckbeard, which I guess is like a two and a half. Only a two? Um, it's... It's just nothing that's that's really blowing my mind. I mean, it's not the worst thing I put in my mouth, which sounds way not straight. <laughs> not that being gay is bad. We at the Mighty Beards of Gaming support equal gay rights. Um, but it's not. <laughs> that derailed quickly. Yep. Um, yep. It's just not my favorite beer. <laughs> Clearly the 10% is working though, so maybe I should give it a three. Yeah, I have a fr I have a friend that uh, that calls this good and drunk instead of golden rock. Well, that's a pretty funny name. Yep. I, I like. He's that. like, yeah, because you just need two of them and you're and you're blitzed. Oh, dude, if I had two of these, I'm halfway through my first. If I had two of these, I'd be done. Yeah. Need a med pack, friend? Dude, how is that guy not dead? Well, I'm going to, uh, I guess bring up our uh, our mighty beard average for this beer there finally there's a double kill uh, for this beard or for this beer and uh, give it a give it a wizard give it a real str like a strong wizard hey wow for me this Good one this one gets this one gets a lot of points for being for tasting f fresh I got for you. Tasting, like, I was drinking good beer but I'm gonna come in and get yeah. you this one gets you know for, for using, using like, like good, good ingredients ingredient. and you know tasting really really like it was made with care i mean this is like i feel i think this is like really a really feel it's like that a, crafty i feel it's too commercial for that oh it doesn't taste commercial to me at all hmm. well good all right so uh yeah i really i really so like this two and a half beer. i really like a beer. solid four from you yeah, so roughly, we'll call it a we'll call it a full beard average. Yep. Mighty Beards of Gaming give Golden Drock a a full beard. I would say I would say worth trying on uh, on an occasion if you've got uh, you know a few extra bucks to buy a bottle or if you have to buy a bomber of it. You know, if you got ten bucks kicking around, it's it's definitely worth uh, worth a taste. Absolutely, I, I still agree. It's not a it's not a bad beer. It's just for me the carbonation and the um, that harsh fruity bite that it has with with the, the harsh bite being the alcohol with the fruit i mean it's almost i mean shit you're kind of going down a lambic route at that point but um it definitely still is a is a classic ale qualifies as an ale um and yeah you know solid uh solid full full beard from the mighty beards of gaming which is still respectable i mean guys a three is not bad by any means yeah it's it's worth uh i mean three a, a three do you still have uh Rounds up. Rounds? What do you mean? You had a. Uh... Oh no! I had you... That guy got hit. No, I meant, I meant, uh, I meant a box, an ammo box. All right. Anyway, guys, we're gonna wrap this up. This was uh, the Golden Drac out of uh, Belgium, and we gave it a uh, a a full beard, respectable, respectable rating from the Mighty Beards of Gaming. And as always, guys, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, favorite it. And uh, as always, if you have suggestions for what kind of beer you'd like us to try, uh, post in the comments, let us know. And um, keep it. Wow, that guy is pissed. I just randomly shot a dude in the face. Um, you know, put a, put a comment down on our videos, let us know. And uh, please be understanding of the fact that we won't be able to get every single beer that people want us to try, but we will try our hardest. And. Uh, yeah, Will, you want to take us out? Yeah, well, uh, I, I am I the Mightiest Beard. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I'm the Mightiest Beard. And I am Northern Beard. And this has been your weekly episode of Beardafield. See you guys next time. Bye.